Hello, this is a live demo of Cisco Secure Workload. It is a product that enables us to have visibility and control over our data in the application and it dramatically reduce the attack surface for organizations. We'll cover most of the use cases, for example, Microsoft implementation, uh, where we're using unsupervised machine learning and application behavior analytics. We can deliver consistent and stateful uh, segmentation across workloads at scale. And also, uh, how do we proactively detect unusual activities such as uh, privilege escalation, shellcode execution, or any other MITRE attack techniques and tactics so we can quickly identify indicator of compromise and remediate. Uh, on top of that, Secure Workload also further reduce our attack surface by identifying vulnerabilities on used ports or outdated uh, or potential malicious processes, give us uh, actionable insights into how to harden and strengthen our workloads further. And because Secure Workload work with um, any private data center, multi-clouds and container-based uh, cloud native infrastructure, it helps to unify our security policy across the board and have very extensive either agent or agent list uh, enforcement options to meet with real world segmentation needs. So without further ado, let's see Secure Workload in action here. Uh, when we get access to its dashboard, we'll see an overview uh, that shows us how our workloads have been behaving in the past couple months. It will give me a score, I'm getting a B plus, but I can go back in time and see why am I getting a lower score on a specific date. And we break that overall score down to six categories, uh, vulnerabilities, uh, process, attack surface, forensic uh, network, uh, and segmentation compliance. Uh, so if I see something that's really low, like attack surface, I want to dive deeper and I can look at, um, you know, uh, what, how is that score uh, defined? How is it calculated and how do I improve? And we also show you the real data of who's the culprit here, like which workload. My domain controller number two is giving me the lowest score because it has unused an open port close to a thousand of them and past 15 days there are no traffic so maybe that give me a good reason to start thinking about how do i fortify that uh, server and we also show you uh, vulnerabilities as well let's say for example um, that you can dive into that but we also have a specific vulnerabilities overview for you as well that shows you all of the known vulnerability against your uh, workloads, whether they are um, severe and whether they are actively being breached in the internet or are they easily exploitable. We also show you whether there is a fix available as well. So you can apply a fix if it's available, but if not, you can also do soft patching using secure workload, uh, maybe isolate these vulnerable workloads from accessing your critical systems like PCI so you can remain compliant. I'd also like to show you how do we help you categorize your applications uh, into different scopes to help you organize your workloads. Say, for example, um, I can define rules that says, hey, if the role contains certain things, I want to categorize it as a develop, developer workstation. Uh, or uh, by role, uh, it says domain, so I want to categorize a, as a domain controller. You can also say things like if the application has the name contains SharePoint, I want to call it SharePoint. Or you can also use IP address or subnetting. Uh, so uh, it's very flexible. You can create very complicated rules if you want to, to help categorize applications. Another benefit of doing this is that once you uh, set this up and your application, if it scales in the future, you know, scale up, scale down, will automatically identify the new workload and categorize it into this so we can automatically apply policy to them without you having to interfere. Let's look at the details. You know, besides the scope itself, we also show you all the workloads and you can dive deep into each of the workload here as well. Like, you know, the labels and scope that we showed you, uh, health of the agent and whether you have any long lived processes, uh, what are these process resource consumption and whether they, there's any anomaly show you a snapshot of the uh, processes as well. Um, you know, who's the parent process, whether there's any vulnerability, any forensic information, um, all the good data. Um, and we can also show you the config that's being applied, the stats, um, you know, the resource utilization, the flows, 
um, and also uh, all the policies that apply specifically to this workload, whether it's ingress or egress, and you can see all the detailed uh, information, bytes and packets as well. So this is a specific um, uh, workload view, but we also have a better view that shows you uh, how do we do segmentation for you? Um, for each of the scopes uh, that we have defined, now we have five, we have already applied and enforced four sets of policies. And for each of them, uh, we're, you know, how many policies we have allowing and um, you know whether we have a catch all that denies the rest, right? So you can dive deep into the actual uh, policies when you hit that manage policies and you will see now we have 123 rules uh, policies being defined and we have a catch all that denies everything else and we also have a better view that shows you the graph graphical view it's a bit more intuitive and you could see all the uh, observation that secure workload had uh, had done for you uh, and like for example automatically categorizing your domain controllers into this cluster for you as uh, so automated and also automatically identifying all the traffic that need to be allowed either to and from your domain controller and uh, because this is uh, big data and machine learning based we also assign a confidence score to these policies as well um, so all of these need to be allowed right and if you're comfortable with this then you can start enforcing the policy but if you notice something that's missing, maybe there was no data, but you, you, it should be allowed. Let's say, for example, my reporting database here need to be able to talk to my domain controller. You can manually create a policy to find the direction and uh, the port as well uh, to overwrite this. And another thing is you don't want to push a policy Friday night and be called back to the office Saturday to fix this, right? So how do we make sure that we're not breaking anything? So that's my favorite feature, which is policy analysis that shows you real wire data for the past months or even years to give you all the support data of how many uh, flows are being permitted, rejected, and escaped. You can dive into each of the flow and see all the supporting data, how many bytes, how many flows are being allowed, and you can run uh, policy analysis uh, to, to find you all the matching policies as well. And you can also filter um, by say, I want to see only the escape policy. That means a run through the 123 rules and didn't match anything and got a default denied. Uh, so I want to look into this and see whether I should allow it or maybe I should just deny it, right? So give you all the supporting data to help you gain confidence before you apply a policy. Another set of data that is really useful is the forensic data that we can show you. So you can also go back in time and see all of the forensic information that shows you in detail, you know, um, any event uh, that happened that has forensic uh, data. Uh, so either there could be some pri privilege escalation or maybe has vulnerabilities as well. We show you all the details and uh, you can you can see all the forensic information here as well. So um, that's a lot of information uh, to, to help you have really good visibility. And um, we've had a quick overview uh, of secure workload. It's as you can see, it's able to automate and identify applications and their behaviors and map that with automated micro segmentation policies. And it can provide all the relevant data uh, to give you confidence, you know, when you need to apply a policy and provide all the forensic data for your from your workloads as well. So of course, we only scratched the surface here in 10 minutes. I'm happy to dive deeper into each of these use cases later. Thank you for your time.